Hi everybody, welcome to yet another solo version of the Shot Clock. Nobody wants to be in studio with me, and well, I can't really blame him. Let's start the Shot Clock anyway. I'm Jay, and on the road we have uh, Scott Bordeaux. He is with the Suns, ready to play their final game of the season, mercifully. The Suns, as you know, already clinched that number one chance at getting the most. Ping pong, lottery balls. May 15th. That's the next exciting thing for this team, I suppose. Scott joins us from Dallas now. Scott, I guess it's time to start worrying about where you're going to put that suitcase. What can you tell us about the Suns as we go forward here? Yeah, Jay, I'm not sure what it's like not to live out of a suitcase. I've been doing that for six months. It'll be nice to put the suitcase away in the garage for a little while, let it collect dust before I go to Chicago for the May 15th combine and lottery. As far as the Suns, you'd have to think they're looking forward to the season being over. 20 or 21 wins, one win in March, I'm sorry, none in March, one in February. It's been a long grind for them. A lot of guys hurt as the season closes. So you have to think they're looking forward to the offseason when they can possibly get the number one pick, get some help from free agency, and look forward to 2018 and 19. Very true, Scott. I won't keep you very much longer. It looks like you're lurking in a corridor there. I'm, I'm a little curious about some of those people who are looking at you. but. Uh... I want to know what you think the Suns' number one priority is at this point, and I think I can imagine it involves the guy who's going to be calling the shots on the floor, right? Yeah, the coaching search is the first thing on Ryan McDonough's list. Uh, he's known all season that he's going to look for a new coach, so I would imagine that he's already got his list of candidates, maybe has interviewed one or two secretly, nobody has heard about that. And I would think that they'd have a coach in place by the May 15th draft lottery. That's not a, a drop dead date for any reason, but that will give Ryan McDonough a month after the season to find a coach, and that's the number one priority going forward. After that, the Suns can focus after the lottery on the draft and free agency. Okay, from Dallas, that was Scott Bordeaux. Thanks, Scott, for joining us, and thank all of you. Tune in tonight, see if the Suns can go 21 and 61. Nutty. For Nobody, I'm Jay. Have a great day.